I understand hazing, and there are certain things that are right of passage in the NFL. I've never heard of voicemails or text messages that are threatening, that are racial. That goes way over the line. Hey, everybody. So obviously, this Richie Incognito story is the biggest headline in sports right now and has been for about a week or so. If you've ever played organized sports before, you know that when you're coming up as a rookie, there are kind of some silly and harmless things that you have to do, whether it's wearing like a Hello Kitty backpack or some sort of ridiculous clothing in the locker room. But what Richie Incognito did was nothing harmless or silly. This is actually really offensive for, to a lot of people, including Jonathan Martin, who had to quit the team because of it. The question is, though, who is to blame? Because you have the coaches who may have told Richie Incognito to do these things or toughen Martin up. You have Richie Incognito himself for doing them, and then you have Jonathan Martin for maybe letting it happen instead of saying, all right, that's enough, and standing up for himself instead of just quitting. So it's hard to tell really who is to blame. I want to know what you think. Tweet at me at Doug Williams, yes, and comment directly below on YouTube. Let me know who do you think is to blame for this whole circus. I look forward to hearing from you.